Alright. I don't know how good a quality this video is, but... I don't know if anybody's ever done a video like this before. I know there's a lot of people that got... There are a lot of guys that talk about capacitors. But... I don't know if anybody showed how to properly parallel a capacitor if you have to. If you're out in the boonies and you don't have anything but a couple capacitors on you, you need to be able to make that customer cool, get their unit up and running again. Um, even if you do have to just parallel a capacitor temporarily until you can come back with the correct rate, microfarad rated capacitor. Um, for example, here I have a 60 uh, by 5 microfarad capacitor and I have a 20 microfarad capacitor. Um, if I take these two and I end up jumping them out, so if I take, say I'm using the Herm side for the hermetically sealed compressor, you use the Herm side from one of the sides of the uh, single capacitor to the uh, split capacitor on the Herm side. So you put that there. And you know what, before I do that, let me show you that, let me get my meter. Sound like my batteries are on their way out. Okay, so here's my meter. If I can get it set up, I'll do this. Okay, so if I test both of these leads, I've got about 20 microfarads. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's 20 microfarads on the dot. Okay. So that's just the single. Here's the uh, split capacitor. I'm just going to go between the common and the hermetic. That's the 60 microfarad side. So I'll do that. Let's see what it goes to. Man, that is 60.2 microfarads. It's like on the dot. Okay, so I have a 60 and I have a, also have a 20 microfarad. If I needed an 80 for some reason, and this is all I had, what I would do is I would take this and I would jump it from the Herm side right here over to one side of the 20 microfarad capacitor so it's like that and then you take the other side of the split capacitor and you will take it to the common terminal so move it over here a little closer and then now all you have to do is hook this capacitor up like normal and forget that these are even here. Forget that you've even done that. So if you want to test it first to see, you just go from common to herm and you should read 80 microfarads. You know what, I'm going to redo this video too so y'all can have a little better. Actually, I'm going to do another video to show you how to wire up a PSC uh, blower motor uh, which stands for permanent split capacitor blower motor um, at 115 volts. Now, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's showing 80 microfarads. It is showing 80 microfarads. So that's how you parallel a capacitor, and that is just as good as having a 80 microfarad capacitor. Some people don't like leaving them like that. Um, it won't do any damage. It'll work the exact same. It'll work for years. It'll work... The same amount of time as a 80 microfarad capacitor would. Um, you always have to hook up on the higher rated capacitor though. Uh, hook your leads up to the common and the uh, whatever terminal you're using on the higher rated capacitor. Um, never do it on the lower rated capacitor on this one. Now, will it make a huge difference? Probably not. But that's just good common practice to do that. So that way the bulk of the uh, load gets hit on the bigger capacitor. 
So, but they are in, they are paralleled together. So they're okay. They will be all right. They'll read the same exact microfarad rating. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Now how to test a capacitor. This one, these three are used over here. So this one's a 10 microfarad capacitor. You really want to make sure that if you have any of those little protective uh, ends on your leads, the little arc protected shields on the end or whatever they call them, take them off so you have full exposure of your leads. And then go to the uh, male spades on the inside. If there's any uh, rust or dirt or debris, get it all cleaned up. And then get your prongs and have them touch on either side of that spade. Really good on the inside. So that way you get a nice good reading. Now this one is showing 6.6 .6 microfarads on the meter. And it's a 10 microfarad capacitor. So we know that one's bad. Typically if it's if it's within about 10 to 15 percent of the rated uh, capacity rating, then it is good. So if it was so it's a 10 microfarad, if it read about a nine or nine and a half, it's it's okay, it's good. They may even read ten and a half out of the box. But this one apparently it's been used, it's been hit pretty hard, it's it's no longer good. So and I would never try to take that and go, oh well. I've got one that, uh, I've got a condenser fan motor that needs a five microfarad capacitor. Do not put that 10 on there that's now reading a six. I've seen guys do that and it does not work. So this one is a split capacitor. It's a 25 by five microfarad capacitor. I don't know if you can see that right there, but I'm gonna go ahead and test it just to show y'all how to test it too here. Okay, so here's the Herm side. I'll put one lead right there. And then I'll put my other lead right here just like this up against the side of the spade so you get really good contact. So I'm going to do these two and let's see what it does. Okay, so that's showing 24.7 microfarads. So that's almost right at 25 microfarads. Now, I probably pulled this off of a unit. Well, I'll check the fan side too, but I probably pulled this off of a unit because um, either the condenser fan motor crapped out or and I had to replace it or something along those lines. Yeah, the, the fan side is showing five microfarads, which is what it's rated for right there. Five microfarads on the fan side and 25 microfarads for the Herm side or the compressor side. Um, I really, I guess I'll show you this last one. Um, let's just check it. This is showing. All I see is five by five. Oh no, it's a 50, that's a 55. Okay, so it's a 55 by five microfarad capacitor. All right. So I'm gonna do it again from common. There's a little C there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Common to Herm. And we'll see what it reads. I really don't know if y'all can see that very well or not. I hope so. Let's see. Showing 54.6 microfarads. 0 0.7, 0 0.8. It's right there. I'm never going to use it again, though, because I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know why I pulled it off of something, but I pulled it off for a good reason. Here, this side is reading five microfarads, which is usually for the condenser fan motor, and uh, it's, they're both within range. So, this one is testing good. This one's testing good. I'm not going to use them again. I mean, unless maybe there's an emergency, and maybe I'll just keep them on my truck in case of an emergency. I can stick them on and go buy the customer the correct capacitor and then come back with it. But. Yeah, this one that's rated at a 10 microfarad rating. Yeah, it's showing 6.6 .6 right now. So it is definitely dead. Yeah, that's all I'm getting out of it. So, anyways, that was it. Nothing too big. Just wanted to kind of give y'all an idea of how to read the capacity of capacitors 
and just test them and see if they're still good or not and how to parallel them. Um, if you all have any questions, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I'll get to you as fast as possible. Thanks for watching. Like I said, the next video will be over uh, PSC motors and it's basically over blower motors out of furnaces. If you take a blower motor out of a furnace and you want to turn it into a shop fan, um, I'm going to show you how to put a pigtail on it or a uh, three prong 120 volt uh, plug on it so you can hook up that 120, 115 volt, whatever you want to call it, uh, blower motor, PSC blower motor uh, in the blower wheel housing uh, up and correctly get the wires all tucked away and get them secure so that way they don't get caught in the fan and I do have a couple other tricks where you put chicken wire on the side of it and whatnot so that way nothing gets sucked into the inlet of the blower, blower wheel because uh, that can be bad it could flip the whole thing over and cause all kinds of problems but anyways if y'all like it hit like subscribe and I'm going to start doing a lot more videos like this